saging all the negative energy that's gonna come across this video when I <laughs> upload it. Yo, we about to go there. We going all the way in this morning. Gonna, okay, so let me tell you what happened. So I got this morning. Needs to be sage. So usually when I get up, I meditate. You know, I'm like, okay, universe, what, what direction you want me to go today? So I get up this morning and I just so happened to get on my Instagram. And uh, you know how you check the storyline. So I'm like, oh, some people have been checking out your storyline. So I go on my storyline and I'm just swiping through and I come across this post. I don't even know who the person is, by the way. I, I didn't even know who it was that posted it, but I just saw, I just read the post and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. That's a that's an interesting topic. Let's talk about that. Because uh, one of the things I, I'm, I'm passionate about, like restoring love in uh, relationships. Because if y'all haven't noticed, relationship, social media platforms is a, a, a billion dollar industry. It's, it's popping. Versus if you're single and you have a lot of options. So I was just contributing some, some very insightful information when it comes to uh, relationships and you know we were talking uh there's so many things i could say but the post was talking about 50 50 and i'm i'm like 50 50 is not a bad thing but we have these entitled modern day women and men who who because because you got to remember everything that women do is a result of what men or what men is is or not doing a woman is only going to do what the man allows her to do or what the woman's only gonna do what the man allows her to get away with and, and, and so forth so a 50 50 relationship is actually better than someone who has it all figured out now if you're now if you're a man of course you are to provide you are to secure that thing like i said in my situation i pay the bills I pay all the bills. I pay the car note. I pay the cell phone bill. I pay the, the damn mortgage. You understand? I, I, even in that situation, my woman ain't a leech. There'll be times when my woman be like, nah, baby, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, I don't know what's wrong with these women the, 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 this day that think that it is okay for the man to just pay for everything, right? And and they just sit back there <laughs> and, just, and just cock up them foot like this. <laughs> what hair the honey, hell is wrong with this? Here, honey, I'm offering the pussy to you. What the hell is wrong with these women, y'all? Listen, if you a woman out here and you think that it is okay for the man to just pay for everything, you are, gotta be you you gotta what? be smug. Smoking oxygen. Man, what have you? You gotta be smoking oxygen. Cause what? Let's get on these men. Now, uh, let's get on these men. We probably should write this shit down. And, these uh, these go men need to stop being so fucking weak. This yes. This is the this is the direct product of why entitled women are are risen up because you think. That in order for you to be accepted by the man, or for you to like the man, and rather, and rather uh, say it, and rather for you to choose the man, he has to have this, this, and this, this, and that. Okay, what you're talking about is benefits in sex, sexualism. In other words, you're saying that men are beneficial objects and women are sexual objects. But see, when you talk about that, you, you start you start striking nerves with people. You know, they start making up all of these. I, 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 I don't want you, uh, crap. Uh, um, what's the other? What's the other stuff? You uh, sh oh, shoot, I can't even remember. I was laughing so hard. Uh, babe, what did she say? How you blow this out? Uh, it, it, it never blows out. It you never. Just, you just let it burn out. Oh, okay. But um, it's not about whether or not you have to like the person in order to receive like uh, insightful information. That, that has merit you know what I mean if you, if you don't agree with it okay we all can agree to disagree but trying to take somebody and putting them on your platform in a private conversation that's immaturity because now you now you now you're trying to be embarrassing and things of that nature when that wasn't even the, the point of anybody's comments and it makes no sense to tell somebody to mind their business when you're posting something on a, on a public platform 
Uh, if you don't want anybody to comment, just take your comments off. Just take your comments down. But, uh... Yeah, you, and then be like, it always be the man that I don't want. Bitch, nobody wants you. <laughs> that made me laugh. That, nobody that fucking funny. wants you. I was like... The fuck? You what? is really into your ego, right? Nobody fucking wants you. I was like, Bitch, wow. Bitch, you're just pussy. The fuck? They was, see... They see something beautiful. Oh, she looked like she could suck cock. You look like you could suck hard, long cock in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, she, you get. You get. She's. You could tell that she's very into herself, and there's nothing wrong with that. Thing is, this if you're if you're trying to say that what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. Okay, cool. We could agree to disagree. But why try to public embarrass somebody like what they're saying is wrong? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what I don't like. But since you want to do it, let, let's talk about it. So, first thing I want to talk about is the men. All right, men. The reason why we have women with these kind of mindsets is because of men. Whether it was a toxic situation where you scar the woman and she just said, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna choose me in every situation and just become very savage when it comes to the game. Or the person just wasn't strong enough. And therefore it caused you to have to come out of your character. You'd rather cheat and entertain other niggas and so forth and so forth. All of that is because of the man. The women are the way that they are because of how men have treated them or how men have behaved with them. So, if the man will become men and stop falling for these women, stop saving these women that want you as the man to do everything, right? In no, in, in no accountability. That ain't no woman, that's a leech. That's a leech that wants the man to do everything, right? And then all you do is sit, on, sit at home and be a, a stay-at-home mom. How, now, let, let me balance it out. You do have people out there who do want that. You got women and men that say, okay, I wanna find a woman who just wanna be a housewife. You got a, 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 a woman that, that, that wants to find a man that just just wanna be want, wants a woman to stay at home. And she takes care of the home. But if you look at statistics, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers on it. If you look at the st statistics of people who do that, there are all kinds of problems. You know why? Because they did not honor the 50-50 rule. What, what do you mean? It's always 50-50 in the relationship. There's roles. The 50 part could be, okay, the man take care of all the bills and everything, and then the woman has to come up with ways to increase the finances. And then you work together. See, this is what we mean by what, what do you bring it to the table? What's some coochie? And then she had then she had the nerve to say she don't have to bring nothing to the table. She ain't she ain't concerned about that. What yeah, kind what? of man what? are I you? I just wanna know what, which man is gonna honestly wipe what? you. What? No man is gonna take you fucking serious. What man are you talking about? And who are these men that are, are putting this putting this stuff out here? Like it makes no sense. Doc. If there are men out here putting posts out okay. there, I don't, 